why why it's important or what it means to me being the best. I can't get to a spot and say, I'm here, I'm done. Not in this sport. Not in this sport. I lifted my first weight seven years ago with my dad. Had a uh, home weight set. I remember my dad telling me, you know, hey, before you go on your dates, you can run in here and pump up your muscles and look good. <laughs> That's so funny. I'll probably never forget him telling me that. All right, ready, all right, ready. One, two, three. Hit a few sets and pump your muscles up. That's when I first learned that that was a thing. I only had Kyle five weeks and he went from a junior show placing, I think like 10th or 12th, to winning his pro card in the USA's. And then since he got his pro card, we pushed the size a little bit, got him a little bigger and harder for this show. Dan, what's something that stands out about Kyle, you think, as a competitor, as a pro? First thing that pops into mind? More tattoos than anybody in the country. <laughs> Kyle, do you hear that? Definitely more tattoos than any competitor I've ever seen. That makes him stand out, though. He's going to do well. We'll see him in Olympia next year, that's for sure. Being enlisted in the IFBB Pro Titan Grand Prix, this is what I've dreamed about. This is what I've dreamed about. I was tiny, I was skinny, skinny. I, you know, I remember the transition where I started telling people, oh, I'm, I'm going to become a bodybuilder. <laughs> I'm going to become a bodybuilder. I mean, I was like ridiculed. <laughs> people thought I was just like delusional. You can't do that. That's unachievable. Look how skinny you are. Now I'm hours away from my, my pro debut. I'm a professional athlete now for the rest of my life. That can't be taken away from me. We're gonna pump up everything. We're getting stuck in traffic here, but I'm gonna try to as safely as possible, knock out this uh, 10 ounces of fish and a third of an avocado. This is the Miss Adele Garcia right here. She'll be making the pro debut on pro Saturday debut. Yeah. at the Titan. You are bringing the best package, so I'm excited for this one. I'm no bodybuilder. Just to see. <laughs> when I look in the mirror and see what I see that is a that's a direct representation of my lifestyle and my determination Bodybuilding doesn't ever let up. If you aren't moving forward, you are indeed moving in reverse. I get discouraged sometimes doing this. The diet and training, you know, it affects your body, it affects your mind. You know, and I get discouraged sometimes. I look at the checks coming in the mail and it's, you know, it's not what I, it's not what I want. I'm now uh, not working and pursuing this full time. That's, you know, fully accredited to uh, my grandfather, Charles Z. Walker, leading the way for me. He's always seen that drive in me and always known that if I found the right thing, then I could apply myself and, and succeed. And he told me not to ever give up, so when it's late at night, when I'm starving, when I'm, my joints are hurting, when the weights are feeling heavy, and 
you know, my bills are stacking up, just, you know, whatever the case may be. I just want to prove to myself the most, but I want to prove to my parents and my grandparents that I can be the best. I don't want them to want me to be the best because I'm their son. I want them to want me to be the best and know that I'm the best, you know, Kyle Moore IFBB Pro. I have about 30 bucks right here. That's big enough for like each mill. Yeah, that's I did this exact show last year. It's it's the only like pro am show I'd ever seen. So I got to witness IFBB men's physique pros like backstage. And I just remember thinking, man, that's the top. That's the elite. That's the best. They're the best. I want to be part of that. I remember thinking. I want to be one of those guys. You guys pros? Yeah, it's right there. The fact that I was just in a room full of professional athletes and I was one of them, that's just unreal. That's unreal. And it it's probably feels so unreal to me because I grew up hearing that it's not possible, that it'll never happen. This is the goal, sitting here right now, being in Los Angeles, being enlisted in the IFBB Pro Titan Grand Prix. That's my goal. This is the pinnacle of my career. This is what I've dreamed about, you know? This is what I've dreamed about. Are they going to bring y'all up at 12? I got a medical excuse right now in case I can't do it. my times of adversity, I can just look back and see the, the hardest worker I've ever known telling me to not give up. If he was here, what was you, what's something you'd want to say to him? Oh, wow. Um, it's the drive inside of me that lifts the weights that I lift, that cooks the food that I cook, that eats the food that I eat, that refrains from doing the things that I refrain from doing. I'm gonna do my best. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna do my best to, uh, to show them that I've worked hard. to see me do well. I'm just tired, man. Uh, just real, real depleted feeling. Um, we got like, you know, five or six sets uh, knocked out and I'm, I'm still feeling, you know, pretty, you know, kind of flat. And kind of like I just like rolled out of bed, you know. Just, but uh, I'm gonna stop, <laughs> I'm gonna keep going. It's not something money can buy. It's uh, not something good looks alone can buy. It's not something Instagram followers can achieve, you know. I think I did good. I think I won, but I'm gonna let you talk to Kyle. He hasn't gone up yet. He's like so sick. He 
His brain's out. I think he got food poisoning. Keep your thoughts in the right direction and keep putting one foot in front of the other. If you're headed in the right direction and you don't stop, you're gonna make it out. Even if I go home right now, I'm gonna Yeah, but you don't want to. I do want to. I'm not going to. Bro, I'm, I really might throw, I might have to step off stage. Yeah. If you were here right now, I would tell him to watch for number 17. <laughs> Cause that's me. You're gonna make it. You'll be able to achieve what you're trying to achieve. Everyone goes through slums. Everyone gets stuck. That's what makes the best the best, is who can keep going. Who can persevere the most. I want people to see my attitude, whether I win or lose. I want people to see what it's like to come from nothing and then you know, gain one of the greatest achievements in the industry. And then on the same point, you know, if it, if it be, I want to show you how to gracefully lose. Because I'm in the best shape of my life, and that's the goal. That's what we do this for. number 17 from Dallas, Texas, Kyle Ward. Even aside from being sick, I was still shredded, but I don't feel bad about my placing. I wanted to do really well, uh, and by that I mean I wanted to go pro, and I wanted to be a pro athlete, and I got that, so I feel like a winner. I'm exempt from going back, so I don't have to, but I'm probably going to because my, boy, my coach is competing and he's going to be there collecting a trophy. We make all these all these changes and do all this extreme stuff to our body and all of a sudden that doesn't matter anymore because we didn't get the placing we wanted. You know, if I do well at this show, then I'm sure I'll set my sights on winning the next one. You know, and then it then I won't feel so content with just being mediocre IFBB pro. Success in bodybuilding is a representation of my success. I mean, no one can build these muscles for me. I can't, I can't get to a point and Oh, I got it. I'll stop. Man. I hate when when you did good, but you didn't do as good as you planned, so you have to like explain to everyone. Yeah. You can't just say instead of just holding up the trophy. Yeah. <laughs> Check it out, first place, just like last time. Not it was Armand's fault. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. You know, are there people with better genetics? Yes. Are there guys with prettier faces and prettier smiles? Yes. Are there guys that work harder than me? Uh, that's debatable. <laughs> I'm the best if I've tried the hardest, and I've worked the hardest, and I've given the most. I know, that's what I'm going to tell you. We're, we're about to film a, this is called Mugging, uh, Mugging in LA. We're about to grab y'all first. <laughs> you guys ready? we we'll get you. I'm joking. Let's go. Control your mind and your thoughts. Your perspective. Look at that, dude. That's just your camera, bro. You added that. Your attitude. And keep putting one foot in front of the other. Keep moving forward. That's the key. That's the key.
16 vomits later. 16 vomits, about 12 diarrheas. Boy, I'm empty. <laughs> Look at that, bro. It's like this thick. It's crazy. All right. I would have. Really? No. <laughs> you get killed. His ears off. I gotta take his wallet and just run. Yeah. What happened? If he, had a, he had a big sword. Would you go try like my sword? <laughs> would you try to go beat him up? No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs>